In today's Madden 21 tip, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite running plays in Madden 21, a very unique run that can be found in the Baltimore Ravens offensive playbook. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been to my YouTube channel before, what my channel does is we make videos that help people get better at Madden 21. I do that through a variety of different ways and one of the ways that I've been doing that early on in the year is showing you guys some different ideas for play concepts and just different concepts that work year in and year out. And so um, if you're interested in getting better at Madden 21, one of the things that I do want to encourage you to do, we post four times a day here on YouTube. I also live stream every single night at uh, 10 o'clock Eastern time. Uh, for this week, since I'm in Phoenix, Arizona, it's going to be a little bit different, but we're still going to be streaming. And so I'll update you on that later on in the video. But be sure to subscribe to the channel because, again, that's one of the best ways that you can improve your game. Now, pistol week slot. And all we're going to do is we're going to sub in a very fast running back here. So for the Ravens, I've got Mark Ingram and I've got J.K. Dobbins and I got obviously Lamar Jackson. You can do this with any team. I think the Ravens, it works the best. You can also do it with teams like the uh, Cardinals or any team with a mobile quarterback. But literally the, the play that I'm going to run is um, triple option. Uh, it's actually out of pistol week. I'm sorry. So literally I'm just going to sub in uh, J.K. Dobbins here. Pistol week. And we're going to be running the play triple option. Now the audibles that you want to set, I like Y corner, which is already an audible. Um, you can put the regular read option there. But PA crossers is really good. Uh, and then you also can have uh, the slip screen, right? These plays will all work in, in tandem with one another. But the play that we're going to be really breaking down for you right now is the triple option. Now, triple option is a very simple run. All you're going to do is you're going to read the read defender. So here you see I'm looking at this defensive end. And if the defensive end crashes down, I'm going to keep with Lamar Jackson. If he doesn't crash down, I'm going to hand the ball to J.K. Dobbins. And then, if, and then from there, I'll read the pitch defender. And if the pitch defender takes the, the quarterback, then I'm going to pitch it to the running back with the L1 button. That's how you pitch the ball. So we'll show you this here just real quick. So again, he's going to crash down. There he takes the quarterback. I hit L1, and as you can see here, this triple option is out. This is a really effective run because this year, more than ever before, what you're finding is it's actually a really, really strong thing to run the ball inside. Inside type zones, inside quick hitting runs to the fullback were, are very, very effective. And you'll see um, what I like about this run is you can actually run this as a power sweep. As you see right there, I'm able to bounce to the outside. It's really a, a read by you uh, as the as the running back here. But you see here, I can literally just pound this in for a quick three, a quick four, a quick five if they if they don't crash down. And then if they do crash down, now you see I've got Lamar Jackson in the open field. And oftentimes this pitch is wide open. This pitch to Mark Ingram is really, really effective. And really from a user standpoint, most people are going to take the quarterback. Um, but see how this hole opens up there? I almost was able to bounce it out to the right. This is just a really, really effective run. Now, when you mix it in with plays like Y corner, this little C route here to the back, a quick snap throw, and as you see right there, beats man-to-man -man coverage to the inside. That quick snap throw from Y corner makes it one of the best quick passes in all of Madden 21. You also have a fade stop route, and then you can do some really um, creative things like motioning uh, Sneed in here, and what you'll see is now you've got a really, really good zone beating concept over the middle of the field. You have a one play touchdown against cover three, um, which I'll show you that really quickly here. When you, uh, when you go through this, what you're going to see is you've got a one play touchdown against cover three. I th I'm pretty sure you have a one play touchdown against cover four. We'll, just, we'll test it here, uh, but we'll show you. This is just cover three. Uh, we may need to run a play real quick. We'll show you the run one more time here. But again, here, and then, like I said, most of the time they're going to take that, and you can get that pitch out there to Mark Ingram, one juke, and you're gone. Um, it's just a really, really uh, creative, not creative necessarily, but like it's just a, a difficult run to stop. As you see here, most of the time they're going to take the, most of the time they're going to take Lamar Jackson. So you want to get really good at that L1 pitch mechanic once they do that. Now, um, and, and again, what you're going to see with this is if they option conservative, it's always going to play the quarterback. And so they're going to take Lamar Jackson every single time. If they option aggressive, then it's going to take the, the fullback dive here. And so, again, they're still going to take Lamar Jackson. That's why this pitch is so consistent. Um, this is just – I think this scheme really has a play this year, especially with how effective the inside zone runs are. Now, let me show you this little passing concept here. This is cover three. And all you're going to do from Y corner is you're going to take your left side guy, and I like to just smart route the fade stop route. That's all I do. I'm going to motion Sneed in, and what you're going to see here is if you have time in the pocket, you get out of the pocket here, roll out, that post route is going to be a one-play absolute dot against cover three. Let me show you that one more time here. 
And typically what I'll do with that fade stop is depending on the coverage, right? If they're running a lot of cover three, then I will put him on either a out route or smart routed, smart routed uh, fade stop route. But what you'll see is those are gonna pull the zones down and then you're gonna be able to step up, up in the pocket and you can throw that with a hard left pass lead. And as you see right there, we're gonna get a nice one play touchdown against the cover three defense. So this offense really is designed to have some really, really good quick passes, some really, really good running sets out of this. You see here, we have this little halfback slip screen. Um, and slip screens actually have a really, I think really, really valuable part of anyone's offense this year is the, the slip screen because with the way people are running a lot of different types of coverage shells and coverage based defenses, you're actually going to have time to complete this. And what I like to do, same motion with Willie Sneed in, you'll see this little drag route here turns into a little quick slant out. And I can throw that, I can throw that very, very quickly um, at the snap of the ball. So you've got some snap throw potential in this set, but it really, really starts with this little run right here. And as you see here, it's a really, really difficult run to stop. Um, there's there's not a formula for stopping this because this is a three-headed rushing attack in one play. Literally, it's a three-headed rushing attack in one play. You have a power run to the right, okay? You can also cut that run right up the middle, and then you have a, a an option play to the left. Like right here, a little quick pitch out there, and there's no one there. And as you see there, Mark Ingram is able to get a quick 10, a quick 15 yards uh, based on the way the defense plays this, right? So uh, obviously on defense, what they can do uh, is they can option play the quarterback, and I'll show you this. So this is them playing against Lamar Jackson here. And you'll see one of the things uh, I also like about this is you can actually run if they run option option uh, QB. Let me show you that real quick. So if they option the quarterback and they stay at home, I can run this straight up field uh, and I can get a couple like like maybe two or three in that situation. Now, if they're in a situation where they're blitzing somebody off the edge like that, you know, it's not going to be as effective. But let me show you this real quick here. So option in the quarterback, I'm just going to power right up. Now, again, if they do that option QB like that, like they like you see, I just missed the read. So if you miss the read, let's just say you run with Lamar. Watch what happens. Option QB, I can L1 pitch it. You see how both of the defenders take the quarterback? That's what makes this run so powerful, in my opinion, because the computer can't stop this. They're going to have to have some level of user uh, control to do this. Now, if they option the running back, watch what happens. So here I've got them set to option the running back. And you see this run to J.K. Dobbins is just it's powerful on its own. But when you when you have that option attached to it, it makes it that much better. Here again, option the running back, and you see option the running back doesn't mean they're going to take the pitch man. It means they're going to option the running back um, that's running the power sweep to the right side. So you really have uh, so just so many options within this running play. Uh, I think this is one of the better running uh, plays in all of Madden 21, and you couple it up with this amazing snap throw here. Watch this, inside leverage, and he's gonna get that consistent win on the inside every single time. Literally, it's a snap throw, and they're gonna have to use her that. So they're gonna have to use her a lot of stuff here, but you see that quick snap throw. Now again, it doesn't look like much, but what they're gonna start doing, um, what the defense is gonna have to do to stop you, is they are literally gonna have to come in, do something like a, a heavy pressure blitz to the middle of the field, and then now you've got this little snap throw right there, and you're able to get out and go. Now again, I can wait for him to come to the inside and do all that stuff uh, but that's for another video I mainly just wanted to showcase uh, how effective this run really can be even if you miss a read that's what makes it so effective you don't have to get it right every time literally this L1 pitch is 99% of the time gonna be there uh, this year so that is just a, a quick video I wanted to do on this run running play now again I told you guys that I would talk a little bit more about my streaming schedule um, uh, later on in the video. So I stream every single night, but I'm in Phoenix, Arizona right now. So what I want to tell you is I am going to be streaming at eight o'clock Eastern time every single night this week. So uh, if and unless further notice, it's going to be eight o'clock Eastern time. So tonight I will be live. It'll start at eight o'clock Eastern time. Um, so you guys can come by to the YouTube channel, check out that live stream. Um, but I'll just be doing that. It's a little bit of a modified schedule for this week because of the time change. And then next week, starting Sunday, we'll get back to the regular routine schedule. But did just want to update you about that. And again, if you're new to my channel, my channel, we post four times a day on YouTube, tips and strategies like this, showing you different plays and different concepts. And we also stream every single night. And so if you really want to stay up to date, obviously subscribe to the channel. But one of the next things that I do want to ask you to do is to join my Discord. Discord is the best place to be because, number one, you get notified. I, I try to put notifications in there every time I go live or every time something changes with my schedule. 
But I also really like it because it's a place where not only I can speak into you getting better at Madden, but a lot of people can help you with that. Um, we have so many good members over there. We got Kilo, we've got uh, Hoodie, we've got uh, Ken Yetta, Marcus Dunson. We got so many good people in our Discord, um, and that's just to name a few. But they are helping people get better at Madden every single day. And I believe also that you have something to contribute to the conversation. So we'd love to hear from you. Discord is just a, po- a great possible way that we can engage together in a community. And so I just want to encourage you if you haven't joined that Discord, go ahead and do that. That link is in the description below and we've got a couple more videos coming for you today so we'll see you in our next one